Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for the ongoing support of the channel. I think of you every day. I send you love and positive energy every single day. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday. Then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So one week there's a love reading. Another week it's a more detailed Celtic Cross style reading. I posted a yearly predictive reading for the year of 2022 and that was fun if you haven't seen that one. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What does Sagittarius need to know, please, for the best and highest good of all concern with Sagittarius? All right, so we'll start here with the tarot, then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards, too. All right, you've got the Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, the Hermit, the Two of Cups, the Three. That's interesting. Woo! You've got the Two and Three of Cups right in a row, which is really intriguing when we have 78 cards and you have cards that come out together. Twos are about partnerships and relationships. Threes are about multiplication, growth, development, expression. I mean, they're important numbers, especially that three. And so when you start to see this together, I mean, and we talk about the cups in general, the cups are all about love, yes, but they're about that great life, that wonderful life that's right here. So you definitely have something here, wish fulfillment, love come true, if that's what you're asking about. Now, if it's something to do with a work situation, I do like to see that Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Wands showing up for you. Um, I would say, again, there's great energy overall. So there's no downside to the reading. We can't really go wrong here. However, for work uh, situations too, again, great energy for partnerships, collaboration, moving ahead with new ideas, initiation with that Ace of Wands. So the Eight of Wands, Eights are all about vibration. You also have two Nines here, and we'll talk about the Nines in a minute. It's evolution, it's peace, it's that underlying unity of all, okay? It brings things together with this eight of wands. It can be quick and sudden change, but it's for your, it's for, you know, it's your dreams coming true. It's information that comes in suddenly. It's a turn of events that really points you in the direction that you've been asking about. Um, this is also the arrows of love in the tarot. So anything to do with partnerships, relationships, you're going to have a wonderful flow and synergy all the way around you, whether it's work, love, family. It's just you've got a very harmonious reading here with all this water. You do have Virgo and fire as well and um, earth here too. So I feel like you're kind of going with the flow in a way. You kind of are just going with your highest self, whatever guidance you're receiving be open to it because it's sending you in the perfect direction. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is a very beautiful queen. She brings in st stability, creativity, growth, expansion. I always say she's like the Susie Orman of the tarot in a way, very good with money. So any decisions you're making with money, like if you're buying a house with the Eight of Wands, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, or doing something with your house, this has wonderful aspects for any kind of improvements to a house, closing a deal on a house. She's shrewd too. So any decisions you make financially here, you won't look back and regret. You know, this is really looking at things with a clear vision, not feeling overwhelmed by numbers, contracts, that kind of stuff. If that's not your thing, that's okay. Uh, I will say though, the queens and kings are all about mastery of that particular element. So in this case, it's mastery over your physical reality, over your physical plane. It also can be mastery over your physical body. Um, the pentacles have to do with health and the body as well, but they're about manifesting. And as you look around this card, all the growth around her, okay, there's this, you know, energy of expansion all the way around you. So the uh, nine of cups here, I mentioned you've got two nines here. Technically, the hermit is 
9 and also 10 because the Fool begins a major arcana with 0. But anyway, um, the 10th card, but he's actually number 9. Anyway, with the 9 of Cups here, 9s are about attainment, okay? So it's realizing a goal accomplished here, high vibrational energy. If you're doing any kind of a fitness program, I feel like you're going to have... You're going to be on your grind. You've got that David Goggins kind of energy, like, you know, where you just don't give up. He had somebody call in or write to him. No, actually, I think it was like a video thing. The guy was like, what do you do when you don't have hope? And he's like saying, you know, MF and all this stuff is hilarious. But he's like, I see it as a challenge. Where am I going to find some hope? You know, it's that kind of energy where nothing will get you down. It's feeling on top of the world. It's bringing in harmony. And attracting people all the way around. But I will say for those of you that you're working on the physical body, be careful with all those cups, okay? Not to overindulge or fall off the wagon with stuff and then go, oh, damn it. Because the working out is not going to compensate for, you know, poor nutrition, too much alcohol, too much anything, sugar, whatever it is. Um, because with this nine of cups, you know, he's got that big robe on. So he kind of kind of covers a lot. He's not too concerned about that kind of stuff. He's proud, though. I will say that he's very proud. And it's a very I feel like it's a delightful energy all the way throughout. We love the page of cups. He reminds me of like the fool's little brother or something for the fool's first cousin. They, they're basically similar energies. The Page of Cups has an innocence and optimism and enthusiasm. It's, it can be a young energy, um, but I feel like in a love interest, too, this is all about manifesting. It's it manifesting in a 3D reality. It can be an ex coming back. So if you have a return from somebody with this Ace of Wands in here, too, um, they'll come back with an apology. And it could be somebody from a long time ago. It may not have been that serious of a relationship. You may have been very young, but I feel like they'll end up contacting you looking at a second chance. And honestly, if they do, they may be very different this time around. I'd say be open about that if it's somebody from a long time ago, because I feel like they'll really recognize some, some of the things they did in their youth, errors of their ways of their youth. Um, others of you, though, in a, a new relationship, because the Ace of Wands brings in initiation, its beginnings. This is a new relationship that is beautiful. It's fun. It's romantic. It, there's synergy. There is a real connection here. And I feel like you're going to get reacquainted with things that you used to do. Like if you used to go to a lot of concerts or go to different places, it's that kind of relationship that gets you back out into spaces that maybe you haven't seen in a while. And it feels great. You know, this is like a fantastic reading for love for anybody who's looking for love. Now, the hermit's an interesting energy here because it's know thyself. Know thyself and you'll know the universe. It's an energy, though, of he does separate himself from people. And so some of this could be, if this was a a clarifier, if that's how this came out, um, I would I would interpret it as that meditation, quiet your mind. Others, though, for you, I do feel like it's really about following your intuition, following your higher self. He guides you through the night with his lantern, but what he's trying to tell you why he's here is that you're on the right track. You're meeting the right people. You're bringing in energies of love and expansion. And so if it's a, um, for some of you, if it's a, a work kind of a thing, I do feel like you may have an, um, a promotion like up to a supervisor or management. And honestly, it could be because people are short staffed, but you'll learn on the job. So don't be afraid. Do it afraid is what they say. Do it afraid. Um, so with the two of cups, wonderful energy for partnerships, commitments. You know, like I said, it's like the two of you at times, you'll feel like the only two people in the world. You don't have to even communicate. You can look at each other and know exactly what the other person is thinking. You'll walk outside and say, I'm seeing somebody in line somewhere. You'll walk outside and say, you don't even have to tell me. I know exactly what you thought. It's that kind of synergy and energy. You may find that too with good friends, close friends, that your energy is so intertwined at this point um, that it almost feels like you're in concert with one another uh, through, you know, all throughout the day, even if you're not in the same physical space. It's like you can almost guess what the person's eating for lunch. You know, it's that kind of thing. Um, but I do feel like it's a partnership that grows. It's a love that grows because you have it here too. The third, uh, the three of cups, sometimes this gets a bad rap for third parties. It really is more of a card of reunions and celebrations. I'm not quite sure how it got pigeonholed into that. 
because threes are not necessarily um, third parties, okay? So anyway, with this, let's get on to it. The three of cups, though, it's all about appreciation. That's the real key to it. Looking at your environment. Now, if you say, I've been single a while, I, I would like a partner, okay? Understandable, but at some point you may have asked for some of the, the alone time. There may have been a point in your life and I'd look back on that. I wouldn't stare, but I'd look back and see where you may have manifested that. Like, did you have a, a time where you were constantly surrounded by roommates or people or kids or whatever? And, and we're looking for those times of quiet and solitude and you just kind of overshot it a bit. Um, I'd say with this, so it's coming back around because this is like, again, groups of people, couples, harmony. And of course, this Ace of Wands, this brings in the real pizzazz of the reading. In a relationship, you've got romance, chemistry, passion, a commitment though too. I mean, this is really a fiery energy. It's exciting and fun in an uh, apology situation because this can be an olive branch. I do see that for some of you. But overall, anything that you begin new here. So if this has something to do with work, it's all about expansion. Wands are about being upwardly mobile, okay? And with the Eight of Wands and um, this Ace together, it's wonderful energy for making gains in your career, making gains with your physical body, making gains in all aspects, really. Because you have the energy, you've got the enthusiasm to go out there and do it. All right, let's see here, Sagittarius, what they have to say from the angels here. Really lovely reading, though. I'm happy for you. I don't know you know who this is, but whoever it is, you're blessed. I'll tell you that. Got all the right elements. And only one major arcana. I had somebody once say to me, how do you get so many all the time? Clearly, I don't. I mean, but it's still beautiful. I, I think we, we're open to all the cards here. All right, you've got the situation will improve. So if you're kind of down right now, I'd say be open to this energy because it could be for you. Be assertive, and with those wands, you may feel a driven energy. You've got, listen to your intuition. So we talked about that a little bit with the hermit. Take action. Again, with the wands, you might feel a bit restless. And you've got a yes, so good things are coming your way, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.